I-45 South. I'm on my way to Galveston. I'm loading at the port. Uh, yeah, I see the sign. Port of Galveston, cruise and cargo terminal. I think that's what I that's what I need. I made it to the port and barely had time to check in but there's uh, more than one office you have to go to and so I picked up my confirmation that the machine is released it's ready to load and j just as I was about to go to the second office they closed but at least these guys only have one hour 15 minute break over here not like in Baltimore where it's uh, what two hours I think or one and a half hours so now they reopen at one so I got I have time to take my catch my breath because I've been driving you know very long deadhead from uh, Santa Teresa New Mexico all the way here and uh, no, I, I'm gonna grab a snack, my uh, protein, because I got water and I got protein. And then I'm gonna take this, use this time to put my signs on so that I don't waste uh, time after. But I still, I just called dispatch. I said, do you guys have any, any of my permits here? Because this is, uh, it's about nine feet, five inches wide. So uh, oversized load, right? I gotta follow permits. So if there's no permits, I cannot leave the port. So basically it was rush, rush, rush just to get here. Now I'm here, I checked in, everything is good. From now on I can take it easy. And my delivery is scheduled for uh, Monday. Uh, today is Wednesday, right? So my delivery is for Monday. And I think it's about 2,000 miles from here. So lots of time. check the master switch I don't want any radio because if you uh If I use if YouTube hears the radio,
Okay, time for the traditional Russian song. You guys ready? I do, I do za tumanam, za tumanam i za zapachem taigi. Well, nobody knows for sure what it means. I'll tell you that, but basically, it's it's a song from 30s back in Russia when young members of the Communist Party were sent to Taiga and Tundra deep forest to to do construction and so the party line was that you know you gotta love the fog and the mist and the flowers and so all these songs were based on this propaganda basically that the guy is singing that he's chasing the rainbow not the money Okay, so now I just gotta line it up properly because this is an articulating machine. But that boom makes it easy. It's like a cannon. Look at this. It's like I'm shooting down the. Uh, Continue, we'll get back to the regular programming in a second. Yeah, I was a bit to one side. Okay, I got six chains on the thing and this time I'm smart I did not drop the the uh, this thing before I chain down so I got two more chains So the wheels are the tires are against my drop, which is uh -oh. Jesus. Don't tell me it, it, they're not gonna go in. Oh, perfect. I hate when I have to use the the. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it like this. Drop the uh, the book the chassis over there and tie down tie down.
need to get chain protector. girls this isn't going anywhere Back on my truck, so double check the chains. Uh, as usual, when you hook up back to the trailer, some of the chains um, get loose because the load shifts. And you know, even though it's it's like medium size uh, loader, right? There's a smaller one is 930. This one is 950. And then over there in the distance, you might see. So mine was parked over there. That one over there is 972. That one is even bigger. And one curious thing, thing, thing here is this uh, crane. There's a bunch of army uh, track vehicles over there. Like, it looks like personnel carriers. And then they have these uh, railroad cars. And it looks like the crane, you see it has a sling, was loading these on the cars. And we are inside a port. Uh, maybe they brought them by ship and now loading them on this and they'll they'll go by the rail or maybe I'll just maybe they load uh, cars like that on the ship I doubt that um, 
Oh, and one more thing I wanted to show you guys is, you see these big blue, they're probably a bit far, but these big blue platforms, they have uh, rims, and in the front they have a kind of a hookup, uh, like towards me on this one, that looks like uh, what I have on my trailer, between the gooseneck and the trailer, just smaller. So these uh, platforms are like floats, that's how they move this stuff inside the ship you know with a crane or a truck can hook up in the front like a special truck and you see like the skids over there you know so this way it's much easier to unload it's kind of like a container without walls right uh, that's how they do it even they sometimes they put a machine on top of this and then the crane lift it from the ship put it on the ground and then they just drive the machine off you know just you know cool arrangement like they have these platforms anyway since I started I'm all wet I'm sorry it's so hot 34 pla uh, Celsius so 95 F and uh, so it's four o'clock Eastern time and I got up at five my time or four local so you know I don't have that much time and I feel pretty tired because it was uh, against a rush against time to get here and then of course rush 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 and I hit the lunch the lunch hour so now uh, I only briefly looked at my permit so what I want to do now is just enable location and look at tracker path let's see where I can go and hide till Till, uh, so I'm right here see I'm at the very it's like an island I think it is an island probably artificial one right so oh there's a truck stop right here Harborside Food Mart oh actually I saw it I saw there's a there were a couple of trucks over there because I know from my permit I have to take uh, this highway 146 Because, yeah, they said, I remember it was uh, exit 7. Let's see. 7, yeah. So I'm going back on I-45. And then exit 7. And so I, I'll be missing all this. Because they are sending me, kind of like, bypassing the, you know, Houston. This is Houston, right? And I'll be going towards uh, Texarkana on 59. So, okay, so right now my choices are either this, this little truck stop over here. I uh, see. What do I have here? Um, how many spots are there? Eight. That's not good. Well, I guess I'll start tracking and just look over there. Look at this. That's 972. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> And if not, I'll have to go all the way here. La Porte, La Porte. Oh, uh, well, there's loves over here. What are we doing, loves? Lots of spots three hours ago. Loves Deer Park. 225, so 30 miles. Time now 318, local time. Maybe I'll go to loves. Yeah, I don't want to go far. So Baytown, there's a flying J. Yeah, that place looks much in, more interesting. Lots of truck stops, but that's Houston. And this area is crazy busy, you know?
recording was not too bad I just had to do maybe three times uh, you know driving on driving driving off just couldn't get one side one side was like the machine was off to one side for some reason just maybe like a couple of inches but finally I now it's like only maybe half an inch one inch off on one side I mean just slightly more to I think to the driver side I don't remember but it's very hard to make it perfect you know okay so the plan I did my research quickly I know the first two highways I have to take so I-45 to uh, 146 to 90 and then 146 to 59 so I cannot go to Loves because Loves is uh, like the one I showed you guys before it's away from my route so what's on my route is this little truck stop that I put in my GP in my uh, tablet it will be on my way so I'll just stop there and it's very small it's just like a gas station I saw it actually on the way here I saw a guy was parking there but time now is only what 3 30 local time so there's still me there still might be some spots so it has seven spots i think what kind of a truck stop is that so that's plan a if plan a does not work i mean i'm just i know it's early but like i said i'm tired i drove yesterday all day got up early today so i'm gonna shut down there if i'm lucky to have to find a spot if not there's another two small truck stops about 30 miles away also on my route uh -oh, it's gonna be amber now now I feel like an idiot I saw the flashing timeout on the pedestrian crosswalk and most of the time when they count down to zero the the, the light changes but some of them like this one since there's no pedestrians and I guess it has sensors and so the sensors don't see any pedestrians and so the timer hits zero and then reset starts uh, again at like 30 or 25 or something and the right lane has no has very pretty much no shoulder and the, there's posts over there so I have my lights on and I'm oversized load so I'm staying I'm sticking to this lane and I, I I called dispatch I said a very I verified the dimensions very important never trust the shipper or the dispatch about how wide or how big your machine is and it's actually it's uh, as not as wide as as my permits say it's only nine feet wide and I checked the height from ground after I hooked up and after I had enough air in the suspension it's like one foot below 13.6 you know so I can still put like a Russian uh, samovar on the top and uh, I, I will still be legal so I got the railroad on the right and on the left here we got all these uh, this looks like uh, what is this Texas Star cruise port oh yeah okay so that's indoor cruise parking so that's where um, passengers can leave their cars so this side is passenger this side is cargo because I see big ships like container ships I see this guy was flying and I'm driving at 25 miles per hour 
and I'm still passing him which just proves again that you know when you go on a road with lights there's nothing you can do Yes, uh, 600 meters. Look at all this traffic. Huh? Doesn't look, doesn't look like a light. It's probably uh, a bridge or something. Do we have any bridges over here? Not exactly. So 600 meters to my truck stop. <laughs> and I hit the jam. Like, what are the chances? You know? Okay, let me guess. All these guys and girls are going to the same truck stop. Oh, that would be funny okay here we go I try to call somebody on the radio like asking but that guy probably doesn't have a radio now we're moving I wonder what that was and I'm on this lane and my truck stop is gonna be on that side But I cannot, I cannot be there anyway because the turn will probably be too sharp. Five hundred meters. Oh, it's a railroad crossing. Roger that. Four hundred meters to the truck stop. So I bet there was a plane, no wait, probably a train. Two hundred meters. Alright, yeah remember that's where it is, where all these palm trees are. figure out where's the entrance okay it's this one see I would not be able to turn in here so now we just have to wait for a kind soul to let me in We're not gonna push it, we're just gonna stay like this because I cannot use that lane, I gotta use this lane. <laughs> Look now, people are passing me over there. I got lots of patience but you know even my super patience sometimes comes to an end now look at this beautiful what we got they say eight spots perfect I think I'll park 
next to this guy right here. Just have to do a couple of super complicated maneuvers. Look at this guy. <laughs> Somebody smashed him. tight in here but yeah so I'm in a good spot I think I can I can get out of here right through there and people are coming in you see now with that uh, guy with those boxes came in now this guy so give it maybe another hour and this will be full you know so I'm not gonna go through traffic in Houston. I went inside, got some food. And now I just need to... Uh, I was thinking about going to the hotel over there, Howard Johnson. But I'm afraid to leave the truck here. It's not a very good area, I don't think. And I still have that, uh, um, you know, a rim and uh, tire on the back I don't want somebody to steal it see we have a crane and when you have a crane usually there's another truck at least with uh, counterweights okay TNT crane rigging well at least he didn't hit my trailer These are probably, I'm guessing, what, 10,000 pounds, 20,000 pounds. Yeah, and that's another reason why I don't want to leave the truck here, because you see how tight it is? Like, the guy next to me has all damaged. Like, that pickup truck over there has damaged. I don't know who that one is. Maybe just a rust. But, you know, when I'm in the truck, at least if I see somebody uh, going too close to me I can uh, get out and start shouting you know sure that guy is backing between me and this guy and one curiosity over here is that that Peterbilt there with a J JCB loader on the gooseneck you probably cannot see it with this camera but it says Kaufman <laughs> so the guys hooked up to a Kaufman uh, Kaufman trailer the same uh, the same one I had before probably uh, but just uglier it has steel rims uh, probably picked up a new machine at the port as well so yeah you see now two more spots are gone but these guys you know the, this guy with the counterweights it's a uh, day cap right you cannot sleep in the truck or maybe they'll go to a hotel that's the thing so I got lucky I got lucky that I, I came so early and like I said in this area around Houston you don't want to be left you don't want to be the one left without a chair you know you don't want to be driving till six o'clock at night because then there's no parking anywhere and you'll have to sleep on the street I hate that anyway so now I'm just gonna grab some food change my t-shirt uh, study my route and of course uh, finish the video and upload it I hope the signal here is good so I can upload it and you guys can uh, check it out so thanks for watching take care